Hello guys, <coughs> welcome to Automation Studio. This is Praveen, and uh, in today's uh, tutorial, we are going to cover install uh, APM desktop on Mac. So here is the uh, blog what I have covered, and uh, I have written all the steps with uh, the screenshot. So you can follow it <coughs> in case you want to really install on Mac and you are facing some difficulties. So it's pretty much uh, straightforward. Uh, I'm gonna also show you <coughs> how it can be possible on a Mac machine. So we will see in this video. Also, you can refer this blog to your friend. And uh, I'm gonna provide uh, this blog descript uh, link on under description box. So let's start. So let's open the Google and now search for APM uh, desktop for Mac and hit enter. So you will get a couple of results. Make sure you should uh, choose the right one as shown in the video. Click on this link. Make sure it's from the official site and click on the desktop version. Now here, choose the whatever the applicable version for use for Mac. Uh, it's a zip file. So let's click on this. Now it will get the start downloaded. <coughs> Open downloads folder so you can say, see that it's uh, downloading, but I have already downloaded in the form of zip file. So let's extract it now. It is extracting. Once it will extract, uh, we can copy into uh, this file into our applications folder with other applications, and from there we can launch it. Okay, it is extracted. So, yeah, so just move into the application. I have already moved it. So, just launch from here. Double click on that. It will initiate the desktop version of APM on Mac. Yes, so it's in it. It's uh, open now. So let's check by running it. So see, it's saying like uh, asking for the git command like tools to install. So let's click on install button. <laughs> So it's asking for the user agreement. Just uh, click on agree, and uh, now the installation will be in progress. So it will take some time. So let's hold for a few minutes. Now the download is completed, and uh, APM service successfully started. Even though it got started, but better to install the those command line tool. So from here you can stop it like that. So in this way you can install the APM desktop version. So thank you.